Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. This is Zach with Zach Attack Cards, bringing you another exciting opening with the Major League Baseball season over and the offseason in full swing and award season now officially over. I figured it's time to dig into some Topps Chrome and see if we can get ourselves some more of these MVP buybacks. As you can see in the background, I've already pulled an Acuna and a Otani Wave Refractor or Prism Refractor. I forget exactly what they call them for Topps. I believe those are worth $40 each since they are your new MVPs for 2023. And also, I brought my Brett Batty out of 150 autograph to hopefully bring us a little bit of luck. And I've got three blasters that I've been kind of hanging on to until they announced the MVPs. And we're going to go ahead and dig in. Try to get us, uh, like I said, some of this buyback action where we can cash in and get some free stuff or some store credit whatever you want to call it same deal right but three of these guys to open kick things off let's see what we can get unfortunately the only place i was able to find these was at walmart walmart is a rough place to buy tops, tops chrome they have it uh retail for 40 dollars each which that's just tough if you don't pull something nice, you know. Again, you're, you're not getting a ton of cards in each box, so. Uh, I know the last batch I was able to get from a buddy of mine that runs a shop. He always has some real sweetheart deals, and they were only like $32 a piece. And, um, yeah, they ended up producing what you see in the background. So maybe, hopefully, Walmart has some luck, too. We'll see. I know the buyback just began, what, late last week after they announced the MVPs. You can go to, well, participating stores. You have to go on there. Easiest thing to do is go on the buyback website, and I believe right from there, they have a link that will show you all of the participating retailers in your area. Um, just like last year, there are some areas that are not very well represented, but I do believe, I could be wrong about this, I think some of the larger online retailers are able to help you out if that's the case, uh, so definitely check into that. But here we go, let's get right into it. We got ourselves three stacks from three blasters. We'll start with this stack here. And wish me a little bit of luck. Hopefully we can get some buybacks. Maybe we can get some cool autos. And I'm also looking for Gunnar Henderson. I did. There we go. What a way to start. Adley Rushman. That's what I'm talking about. Did pull him last time, but I will take another. Um, but as I was saying, I did not pull a Gunner. So very hopeful that I can pull a Gunner in this opening. Eric Cole. Now you're reigning AL Cy Young Award winner. Cade Cavale, we have a Raphael Devers, very nice refractor, very nice, I'll put refractors over here, and a Bryce Harper, sepia, very nice, sepia, sepia, however you want to say it, but yeah, it didn't open a lot of chrome this year, so lucky to get any of the MVP buybacks, last year I did not pull a single judge or uh, Goldschmidt, despite opening what I thought was a pretty decent amount. Garrett Mitchell, rookie. And Tristan Casas. That's nice. Looks like he's going to be a stud for Boston in the years to come. Had a slow start, but a definite good ending to the season. Michael Harris, the second. Speaking of studs, just adds to that Braves lineup. Already loaded. Edwin Diaz. There's Jordan Walker, who is the cover boy for, what is it, Chrome Update. We have a Michael Massey. There you go. Wave Refractor or Prism Refractor again, whatever you call it. Not bad at all. And Sepia Alec Thomas. So they could get, what, two Sepias and two Pinks. So we got our Sepias out of the way. Let's see what the Pinks are going to be. Max Freed, 
Aaron Judge. That would have helped me out last year. <laughs> Javier Assad, rookie. And Reese Hoskins. Three packs to go. Very quick rip, obviously. Four to five cards per pack, depending on if you get one of the sepia or purple refractors. J.D. Martinez. There's Kyle Schwarber. Had himself one heck of a postseason. Got Kyle Stowers. I'll take that. He had an up and down season with my O's. Seiya Suzuki, future stars. And Corey Seager. Nice pink. That's a real nice pink. The World Series MVP. Second time in his career. Second team. So pretty awesome to see that. He had one heck of a postseason as well. Nelson Velasquez, rookie. Leover Piguero, Oswaldo Cabrera, and Austin Riley on the 88. Last pack of the first blaster. Kind of a dud so far. Nothing. I mean, I got the Adley Rushman, which is awesome. I'll always take that. Plus some real nice rookies. Jonathan India. Brandon Crawford. Dansby Swanson. And Alec Bohm Refractor. That's nice. And Luis Castillo on the purple. So not a ton to do. Uh, nothing fantastic with the sepia slash pink refractors. Uh, Bryce Harper, probably the best out of those. And these packs just shred sometimes. And seeing some repeats already. Edwin Diaz, Max Freed, Jordan Walker for the second time. We got George Springer on the 88. And J.D. Martinez on the sepia refractor. Not a bad name there. Aaron Judge, already seen him once. J.D. Martinez, Oop. Javier Assad, and Jonathan India on the Prism slash Wave Refractor. <laughs> but what a season it was. It was a great season to watch all around. It was an excellent postseason, I thought. Al Schwarber. We got Velasquez, we got Hoskins, we got Stowers again. And, ooh, Mike Trout, Sepia. That's nice. That would fetch you a few bucks, I'm sure. People love going trout fishing. Man, this is like a almost complete duplicate box. Cabrera, Pena on the Future Stars. That's different, I think. First Future Stars is... I forgot already. Not looking good for Gunner, though, unless he's going to show up in the last one. Crawford. Charlie Blackman is a little bit different. Oh, Dansby. Seen him already. Nolan Gorman. And Lubob on the pink. Very nice. Two packs to go. What can we do here? Ooh, Hunter Brown. Cooled off as the season went on, but to see how he does in his sophomore season. Shane McClanahan. Giancarlo Stanton. JT Real Muto on the refractor. Last pack, second blaster. Not a lot of luck so far in this one. We got Nick Prado. Ezekiel Duran. Matt Olson, who I was very surprised. I believe he came in fourth in the MVP voting with all those home runs. Vientos and Zach Wheeler. Bonafide pitching stud right there. Last blaster. We pull anything. Anything buyback related? Gunnar Henderson. Come on now. And we got some Tatis action. Let's kick things off. Drew Waters. Jose Altuve and Yvonne Herrera on the refractor. Very nice. Alec Manoa kicking off pack number two. Alex Bregman. Rosarena. 
Christopher Morell, that's a nice one. And ooh, Jordan Walker on the pink. That's a nice one. Probably the best pink. Trout might still have a beat in terms of the, if you're looking at pure value for the retail refractors. We have Jonathan Aranda. We have another wave or prison, oh, maybe not. Michael Toglia. We have the Pasquatch, Vinny Pasquantino. Oh, yes, we do. Let's see. Jordan Grosshands. And Starling Marte on the sepia. Nothing too eventful so far. Nothing too eventful. Nolan Jones. David Villar. Bubba Thompson. And Freddie Freeman, who I believe came in third in the National League. MVP voting behind his teammate Mookie Betts and, of course, the winner, Acuna. Yeah. All right, Igai Rosario, Kyle Tucker. Uh, messing up my piles, messing up my piles. We got Bo Bichette, Hunter Green, Future Stars, and Mark Vientos. That's a nice sepia. Had a pretty good season for the Mets. Two packs to go in this opening. Kicking it off with the World Series MVP, Corey Seager, Cody Bellinger, former teammates there, Sandy Alcantara, and Tristan Casas, Casas for the second time. Last pack, see if we can get a little last pack magic. Anything in here, a little bit of fire left in this one. Any LPM. Looks like we have a pink. Matt Chapman. Uh, Jordan Grosshands, Ethan Small, Pete Alonzo Refractor, that's quite nice, and Christopher Morell. All right, so that's a nice pink. So, a pair of nice pinks. Alonzo's a nice refractor, too. Um, but, hey, sometimes that's just the way it goes. I thought uh, we'd try to go after these buyback guys. Nothing doing. So, like I said, I believe I got $40 each there i'll have to double check on the website but uh hey better than it's better than nothing better than last year so i'll have to uh go pick something up bring you guys a video let you know what it was i did pick up let me know what you guys are doing for your buyback are you you know how much do you have to cash in what are you looking to buy did you are you just going to hold on to the cards i know some people are doing that too um but yeah, thanks so much for watching, guys. Truly appreciate it, as always, from the bottom of my heart. Thank you for any and all time that you spend with me. It, it means the world to me. And uh, if you liked what you saw here, you could head down below. Hit that little subscribe button. Make sure to hit the like button while you're there. I'll bring you more openings just like this one. And yeah, leave me a comment. As I said, I'd love to hear from you. And I'll get you guys on out of here on that. Catch you in the next video. Peace.